We'll just solder the resistor on. Turn the extra leg off. Get back here and try wrapping this again. And we got a warm white this time. So the trick here is definitely not to cross the wires pretty much ever. Which is why usually you should use some good heat shrink. Let me get, this will make things a little easier. kind of want that bent into place pretty precisely or at least as precisely as the other ones that I've already put in there and we'll throw a bit of glue down hold this for a second and throw a little baking soda in there there we go now it's not going to move anywhere now positive work so we'll wire this into the loop Sorry if my hand's getting in the way here. I really got to figure out a good situation for the camera. No matter what, it's not going to get a really good shot of what's going on. I'm just wrapping all this wire together into one big bundle. And we'll get the solder. Trim a little of this excess off. And one repaired LED later, we should be all set. I'm going to glue this wire down here so it's a little kind of tamed. Having this wire run above the uh, window there is definitely not an ideal situation, but see if I can work something out later on. What I can always do is trim that piece of wire out and put a longer one in. We'll put this one down on the side as well. There we go. And of course all these loose ones here should uh, bundle into the back fairly well. I'm not too worried about that. And this clear plastic that I put over here, let me get out a piece of that. All that is is this semi-opaque stuff. This is probably from some kind of like tackle box, fishing container, uh, 
something like that. Basically, it's a separator for a plastic box of some sort. I can't remember what. But I liked it because it's not completely clear and it's not completely opaque. And it does uh, show through a little bit, but not too much. And I might actually double it up. Right now, it's sitting above the surface. So if I cut a smaller piece and fit that in there, it should be pretty good, I think. In fact, why not try it now? thing is, I expect it's going to have to be a fairly tight fit. I don't know how tight I'm going to be able to get that. That's pretty close. Pretty close. Trim too small and it's useless, of course. Yeah, it's close. The angle's not right there. But it is level with the ceiling. So I'll look into this later on when I get closer to that point. Like I said, I might even put a mirror back here so that the room light reflects back off of that. We'll see how that trick works. So there is some uh, emergency LED repairs. And I'll see you in the next update. And oh yeah, of course... With these new LEDs in here, these yellow ones and this little guy there, I'm going to want to run this for 24 to 48 hours straight through to make sure none of these die, because if they do, they need to be pulled off the line and replaced. So, yep. Yeah.